Hi guys, welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. I'm making a big batch of black raspberry vanilla soap in my slab mold. And I'm going to be using Midnight Purple from Be Scented. It's a really deep, dark purple. But if you don't use enough of it, it can look gray. And sometimes I add a little bit of purple vibrance to that. And this one I don't normally use for black raspberry vanilla, but I, I thought I might just use a little bit this time. Um, this is Radiant Plum from Brambleberry. And then I'm using a little bit of Voodoo Pink from Matte Oils, and I'll probably use the rest of this Hot Pants Mica from Matte Oils. Um, I usually pipe on the top of, of this soap, and I add little um, tiny raspberry, melt and pour raspberries. I have them made up, but I don't think I'm going to use them. I might just texture the top for something different. Um, it takes a long time to place in beds, and especially if you're doing three raspberries on each bar, because they're just tiny, so I always do three. So that is to be determined, I guess, when I get to that point. I may not pipe, I may just texture it and, and call it good. Um, so I'm going to have white and then the three different colors. And I think that's it. I'm just probably going to do a spoon swirl or chopstick swirl, something like that. So let's go ahead and get started. to just um, use my hanger tool um, because I took it down and it was actually the same the right size I had it used it in another mold so I'm just gonna do a little bit of a swirly woo through here now this is thickening up nicely and 
my white is not, which is what I would use to pipe. So I'm going to bang this down, and then I think I'm going to um, put the colors, the rest of the color on, and then just kind of scoop the white on and put my raspberries on. Okay, so put this on any old which way. I figured I had the raspberries made. I might as well use them. These bars I'm going to cut a little bit differently than my other, how I normally do it. Um, I've decided I'm going to cut them two and a half inches wide. I will show you tomorrow when I, or later on this video you'll see, when I use my log splitter to cut them because I want um, a different, kind of a different size bar. I want a shorter, chunkier, chubby little bar because I made some for my niece, for her softball team, which I haven't put that video up yet. It'll probably be up by the time you see this one, maybe. Um, and they came out short, but really cute. And I was like, oh, if I do this, but make them a little bit thicker, I think I'll really like them. So I adjusted my log splitter to be two and a half inches wide. So you can see right here, these are actually going to be an inch and a half wide, the bars, but they're going to be narrower. So I may or may not like them, may or may not stick with it, but you know, you guys know I'm always trying something different. Um, it would be so much easier, make my life so much easier if I did one size bar and stuck with it, like perhaps use the same size mold and stuck with it. It would make packaging, it would make everything easier. And it would look more uniform. But I'm just all over the place. Um, I haven't, hadn't settled on anything for certain. Um, I'm kind of the same way with the soap making, you know, I'm not, there's some people who don't do the piping, they just do beautiful swirls. There's some people who only do piping and no swirl, you know, no really swirled tops. I, I don't really know what type of soaper I am. I'm kind of all over with it, so I don't have a set mold that I like to use. I like to use different ones, so it may evolve sometime, but right now that's what it is. I'm just kind of swirling this a little. And I'm going to kind of just put white dollops on the top so that this color shows a little bit. Oh, poop. I forgot about this color. Should I or shouldn't I? Oh, I might as well, I guess. I guess it adds a little bit of contrast. And my raspberries are kind of different colors. Um, usually I did just the two main colors, but sometimes when I'm making embeds and say I have extra of a color, a pink color or a purpley color that looks like it would go with this soap, I go ahead and pour it in my raspberry mold. And that, that way it helps me accumulate them up and it doesn't take me so long to make them at one time because my I need to get another raspberry mold. The one I have only makes like nine little baby ones, so, or no, maybe 12, but it just, <coughs> excuse me, it just takes forever. So I just do it that way and then it kind of makes it go a little bit quicker if I only have to make a few or Okay. 
so this isn't this consistency is too thin to pipe so I'm just gonna kind of maybe I should wait you know what I'm gonna turn the camera off I'll wash up my dishes get the rest cleaned up and hopefully it'll be ready and then I can scoop it on I'll be right back okay guys <laughs> I was testing the piping to see if it was thick enough and I, I my bag is really full and I lifted it up and it came out and then it wouldn't stop so I just kind of went down the line um, and then quickly tried to lay it down but it's too runny but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it because I don't want to wait any longer like it's just running out on its own right now This was supposed to be in the middle of each bar, but I just screwed it up. Oh well. I better not run out. Okay, so I'm not going to have enough. And what I'm going to do, plan B, is texture it. So that was a big waste of time, but oh well. two days after I cut or after I made the black raspberry vanilla and I cut it into four loaves with my log splitter and I made these a little bit taller if you saw my video of the soap I made um, the Alabama themed soap um, I changed my recipe just made it a little taller and I want to see how these bars look um, I want them to be like one and a half inches wide so I'm gonna measure um, I wanted like a short sorry guys I hit the camera I wanted like a short thick bar um, so I'm gonna set my little 
do jiggy here so that I cut them all the same. Let's see, I need to make it just a tad smaller. Keep hitting the camera with my stick here. Let's see. Actually, I need it to go back a little bit. So I cut these um, into four two and a half in, um, inch wide loaves. And I'm interested to see if I like the shape because I really liked the shape of those the Alabama ones. I thought they were super cute. Um, and they would be really cute for like guest size also. So let's see what this looks like. I didn't place the berries very well so I know I'll be cutting it into them but that's okay. like the swirl. So let me weigh it and I will find out what these weigh. These are just a little over six ounces so they're actually a great size. Um, I didn't do what I really wanted to on the top but I think these are these are cute. I just wanted to do something a little bit different. But I like them that you know fit in your hand nice. They're just and I do like using the slab mold because when you cut them into logs, then you get the swirls all the way around the bar, which is kind of cool. It would be nice if I could stick to one shape and size of a bar. It would make packaging and everything so much easier, but well, it looks like a little heart. So I'm glad I added the pretty purple in there too. I, it just adds a little bit to the colors. I was, I was editing one of my videos the other day and I always go, like I'll bring the soap up to the camera and I always go like this because I, I just smooth off the bottom. But I realized in the video it kind of looks like I'm going like, ta-da, like, you know, presenting it by doing that. But I'm really not. I'm just smoothing out the bottom. I thought, I wonder if people think that I'm doing that because it looks kind of silly. love in this size. They're really cute. And I think next time I will make a batch. And what I'm thinking of doing is making a batch this size and then once I cut them then I will mix up some stuff for piping and pipe them on so it looks almost like they were um, it's hard to explain, but I have a picture in my head. So, like, when I cut normally, I pipe, and then I cut. You can see where I cut, you know, through the piping, obviously. But this would look a little different. It wouldn't have any cuts through it. So, I want to try that and just see how it looks. I need to write things down when I have ideas, because I just have so many things in my head that I'd like to do. It looks like an eyeball right there. Anyways, so this last bar, I will have this little end piece, which will make a great sample. And I always put a sample in all my orders that I send out. I get, I send a sample of something. This might be cut in half and make two samples because it's, you know, a nice size. So, um, but I'll cut the other loaves later. You guys got the idea of what it looks like. Um, but I will catch you on my next video and thank you guys for watching.